Hey boys and girls, Moon Girl here, and this is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Aries, my fire Aries. So y'all know the drill, it is a general, it may or may not resonate with you. If it does, awesome. If it doesn't, I'm so sorry Aries, but hopefully next time it will, you can always book a personalized reading. So please head to my Instagram, same name, Moon Girl Tara and more. While you're there, I so would appreciate you guys liking and following it. You can also support me here on YouTube. I so would appreciate the subscriptions and the thumbs ups and the comments and the shares. It really helps my channel circulate. So I thank you in advance for that. And uh, you can also support me on my Facebook like page. The new one has my face on it as a profile, so you can confuse with the old one. Same name, Moon Girl Taryn Moore. And if you like to bless my channel, you can through Cash App, Moon Girl Taryn Moore. Also, feel free to swap energies. Like I said, if it's not you, it's the person you're dealing with or someone in your surroundings. And let's just jump right in. So we have this could be the one clarified by the Nine of Cups in reverse and the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so. I feel like maybe when you started dating this person, you it, it, things kind of escalated rather quickly. You're like, oh my God, I'm so infatuated with this person, or um, I feel like they're so sexy, or vice versa, or, you know, um, it could have been very lusty energy, and you could have just really jumped right in. However, now, seeing it as a bigger picture as a whole, as time passed by, you see this as a wish and fulfilled with the Nine of Cups. Also, somebody could be overindulging in alcohol, even sex. Um, substance abuse some of you are drinking a lot I keep getting pulled to drinking but um, it could be anything okay anything that's kind of a little bit toxic behavior even overeating but I'm really focusing on alcohol and sex for some of you to be honest um, yeah so you see like you know this was a wish unfulfilled you could have possibly given something up another situation or relationship for this one and then it kind of blew up in your face so this could be you or the person you're dealing with okay then we have it clarified by the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, someone views this connection as a bad investment. Like, I shouldn't have invested in this. I gave something else up. Much better to be with this. Okay. Um, I kind of feel like, you know, there could be some sort of gossip or slander here circulating here. You could hear something through the grapevine or you could have seen something um, through social media, stuff like that. Um, I kind of feel also like some of you might be going through um, a rough patch with your finances. Maybe not going, you know, it's not as good as you wanted it to be. There could have been some money lost here. Um, I feel like, you know, you didn't really fully know this person when you got into this connection with them. You know what I'm saying? And now you're seeing them for what they are and you just maybe not like what you see. Okay. Or this could be vice versa. Then we have pay attention to the red flags in reverse clarified by the emperor. Here you are Aries. And to me, this also signifies Capricorn because they like to think they're the boss, but they're not. Uh, and then the wheel of fortune uh, upright. So I feel again, you possibly jumped into this connection rather quickly and you were had those rose colored glasses on you weren't paying attention to the red flags now it's like a whole lot clearer to you you know now you're seeing this person or this connection for what it really is um and you may not like what you see you know you know um you could be dealing with somebody who is very domineering someone who's very my way or the highway who can be a bit harsh who can be, um, say not nice things to you, who is very like, you know, what I say kind of goes, you know what I mean? Um, and also I feel like, you know, in the past, or this could be you in the past, like I said, you know, you didn't pay attention to the red flags. Now you are like wising up, you know, you're bossing up the emperor energy and you're moving forward with the wheel of fortune. Okay. So there could be an ending to this connection and you're like, you know what, I'm, I'm taking back control of my life. This has taken too much time. I made this a priority. It's not working out. I'm taking back control. I feel a sense of loss, like I lost myself in you or I gave up so much for you and it was for nothing. Now you want to get back on that wheel of fortune and you're ready to move forward and boss up. There could be an ending here and a new beginning. We have religious factors. Um, so some of you could just not have been seen eye to eye with this person. There could have been just too many differences. There's heavy fire energy here um, for me. Um, I feel it. It could be just yours being very intense, Aries. Um, but yeah, or this could be somebody who was spiritual. The other person was religious or you had, you know, different cultural backgrounds of any kind. You know, um, you did like this person. It was very intoxicating. You know, you could have been very obsessive, obsessive, I don't know, obsessive with each other. Um, but I kind of feel like, honestly, it was very like sexually based here. 
I'm picking that up. Again, there could be a Capricorn of significance. And there you are, Aries, too. You guys butted heads, for sure. Um, I'm feeling a strong sexual addiction, either your end or their end. Okay, um, I kind of feel like somebody couldn't keep it in their pants. Or both. Take it how it resonates. I, I'm not getting, I'm not seeing this in the cards, but I'm picking up a sense of somebody just was dabbling with too many people. Okay, so take that how it resonates, guys. Um, it's not in the cards, but intuitively I feel it and I see it. But I feel like you're trying to release yourself from this connection because you see it as being toxic. You know, you're ready to put these burdens down and move forward. Ending to endings and a new beginning. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the Knight of Wands. You were dealing with a fuckboy or fuckgirl. This is somebody who comes in for the passion, who offers that wand to everybody else out there, you know, and, uh, or, you know, it could be a man or a woman, doesn't matter. Uh, it's inconsistent energy, you know. Um, they're unreliable in love. They'll break your heart. This is someone who plays with your emotions, or this could be you. Um, they come in offering you this one cup. It always comes with a catch. It's someone you can't trust with your heart. You're feeling defensive towards this person now. Or vice versa. They're feeling defensive towards you. They didn't always, they didn't completely let you in here. Now you see this person as a false empress or emperor. You're portraying yourself to be this beautiful goddess empress, but you really weren't. You know, that's kind of the, the thing I'm getting. Like they, they painted this really pit, pretty picture of themselves. Um, so take this how it resonates, guys. It could be you or it could be them, okay? Um, and you don't see no lack, uh, a lack of growth here. Like, there's no more growth in this connection. It's not fruitful. So someone's moving on, moving forward from this, trying to move on to calmer waters and go invest elsewhere, okay? Uh, we do have the uh, Pisces in reverse. So someone could be viewing you as a trader, you're viewing them as a trader. This also indicates, like, the unwillingness to work on this connection anymore here we have new love in reverse so this could have been a new connection and it just didn't quite work out the way you thought it was going to be we have wedding here but to me i always feel like this card is somebody who is a bit uncommittal like they could have been possibly you know um promises of marriage or higher commitment uh, but you see how she's all happy like yay i got him and then look at his face he is like, oh my God, like a deer in a headlight. Am I really doing this? Am I really giving up, you know, um, the single life? Somebody here was uncommittal, I feel. Possibly could have been dealing with somebody who was already married or in a commitment, okay? Uh, there was unrequired love here. Okay. Um, yeah. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. When I tell you earlier that I felt like it could have been very sexually based, but then when it comes down to the nitty gritty, the, the meat and potatoes, there wasn't much there. For some of you, children could have been a factor. There could have been children here. This person could have children. You could have children. You had children together. For some of you, there could have been a loss of a child, a miscarriage, an abortion. Honestly, I'm kind of picking up that somebody pretended they were pregnant and they weren't just to keep you or vice versa. Or wasn't your real baby? Just take that how it resonates, guys. That's for not for everybody, but that's messages for somebody else. Um, if it's not for you, it's for somebody else. Um, let's get these other cards. Some of you, just a child came into your life. It could be a grandchild or, you know, someone you know around here. Uh, we have silence, so there could be little to no communication. Somebody here might want another chance. Baby mama, baby daddy. That could have been a baby mama or baby daddy that got in the way. Or you could be the baby mama, baby daddy. Let me see. I kind of feel like you're not talking to this person much. We have someone here feels alone or lonely. What else? Someone's definitely getting some karma. Waiting. You could be waiting on this person to call you, to reach out to you. Or vice versa. They could be waiting on you. I kind of feel Aries, if you if you're waiting on this person to come in, I'm not too sure they're going to. I think they're waiting on you. So let me see. Come on, one more card, please. One more card. We have intuition. Go with your intuition here. Okay? Last one. Come on, one more, one more, one more. 
that one here we goes yeah watches you on social media so they could be watching you on social media you could be watching them or this could even be this person watching somebody else you know uh but yeah there's heavy um spying going on here on someone's end and this is what i have for you uh aries i hope this reading was at least of some help if it was please make sure to give it a thumbs up and as always stay magical